Alright, so today I have the One Direction makeup kit from the Lux Collection. The Lux Collection has three different tins inspired by three different albums. The one I have with me right now is called Up All Night from their Up All Night Direction. It's made in a limited edition tin and has all the cast members and a slideable cover on it. Now, when you take the cover off, then has just a plain brick surface. And there's a little track to tell you what's inside. Take it off. And on the inside, there's a tutorial on how to do one kind of makeup, which I'll be trying to demonstrate you how to apply some of this later on in the video. Now, the actual items that you receive are some stencils that you can use to decorate the outside of your tin to make it personal and belong to you. Now, some of the stencils they give you are like little gems, little arrows, a lot of stuff to choose from to make this personal and one of a kind, all you. Now, next, they give you some nail polish. It's a cute little shade of teal, and it has na 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 written on the back, which I suppose is what they decide to call it. And, yeah. They give you lip stick, which has two sides to it. One is... I don't know what the difference is. I assume this one's like smoother, but it's called I Should Have Kissed You. Then they give you mascara. That is, yeah. Nice. Smooth looking. Then they give you some lip gloss. It's all pink and sparkly to overdo your I Should Have Kissed You lipstick. Then they give you some dark blue eyeliner. It's real nice. Looks pretty good. And then they have a vibrant little palette of eyeshadows. See right there? Nice shades of blue and some more natural colors as well, depending on what your style is. Now, in this kit, I'm going to be showing you ways to apply this makeup. And I'm going to be starting with their eyeliner, which I think it has a name to it, called Stand Up. Alright, Stand Up Eyeliner. It's a deep shade of royal blue, and so I'm going to show you how to apply it. Now, applying it on the bottom, you're going to need to stretch out your eye a little and just gently, gently put it on the bottom crease right there. You might need to add a little bit on the corner to make it look like that. And if some parts aren't dark enough for you, then you can go back and redo them. And then do the same with the opposing eyes. It's all nice and glittery, and really easy to put on. It has a really smooth texture, it doesn't hurt at all, doesn't sting, and it's really pretty in the end. It looks really nice. And then you're going to do a bit of their eyeshadow, which, hmm, I think it's called See You Tonight. And open that again. Now, for me, I'm going to take some of this darker navy blue to start off and do it at the base of my eyelid, right, like the, close, the part closest to my eyelash. Ah. And there you have a little shadow to give it like darker near the edge. 
And you're going to have to do that with the opposing eye as well, just like you did with the eyeliner. And you got to make sure they're as even as can be, because you don't want one eye to look lopsided. Mm, there we go. And then for me, I'm going to take this light shaded teal right there, and I'm going to, like, cover one half of the little applier stick and put it on the upper part of my eye. But I'm not going to try to make it too, too covering. Just mostly on the eyelid. And there we go. We got us a little bit out there. So it extends beyond the eye and it looks full and covered. And then you're going to do that to the opposite eye as usual. And if you get a little smudge, you gotta like kind of just wipe it off. Personal mistake. And if one shade doesn't turn out as dark as the other, then you can just go back and add a little bit more. Ah. <laughs> and a mistake up there, but that's just me and how I somehow mess things up. Not saying it'll happen to you, and it's not, definitely not the makeup fault. And then they give you this little glitter in the middle that's really pretty. It's, um, like a royal bluish, and it's really nice. You put it on, like, the little brushy end of the stick, and you just put it right over your eyelid. Like that. Both. And if you want to go back and add more because it's uneven or it's not done right, then that's highly suggested because you don't want to look lopsided or messy. Well, even though I look a little bit messy, but that's just because I'm, yeah, me. And, yeah, so we have the eyes used with the light shade of blue, the dark shade of blue, and the glitter. And, of course, the eyeliner. I... Probably messed up a little because I'm not taking my time, but as you can see, if you take your time, it can really look, come out really good, and you'll look really, really nice. And then, gotta take the mascara. And this is really soft, and it looks like it has a really nice brush. You just, you put it near your eyelashes, and you blink a little. Probably get the ends, mostly. Then right there, and... Mostly the edges, because sometimes it can look a little bit tacky if you do it on the non-edges, like right in the center. And get the bottoms a little, but don't overdo it on each eye and there. Now for the I Should Have Kissed You lipstick, I'm going to show you... No wait, these aren't. Okay, so up in here you have this light shade of pink. And you move down your no, I can't talk about it. You move down your bottom lip a little, as so, and you just apply it nice. And then you up. It's a very, very vibrant shade of pink when you just want something that's fun and cute and kind of girly. And then they have this lip gloss that is a pink just like the I Should Have Kissed You, but it's sparkly and adds moisture to your lips. Just makes it look really comfortable and smoother. And so, yeah, I basically how you put on a lot of the facial makeup they give you. And it's really simple, it's really easy, and it's really comfortable to wear. I know I didn't really do it that well because I'm kind of in a rush, kind of sloppy, but 
I'm sure you can do it a lot better if you take your time and just do everything. So overall the kit, it's really nice. It has a lot of accessories, gives you a little tutorial on how to do it your own way, and it's just fun and it has something for everyone, whether you like to be a little more natural looking or you like to like make it a little funner, a little partier, and it's just really nice. And so I would recommend it to any of your Direction fans, Directioners. So, um, yeah, that's basically it. The Up All Night collection that is part of their bigger makeup collection from One Direction.